Ban Tong's eyes nearly jumped out as his guards all stiffened. You! Ban Tong yelled out, unable to hold it any more. He pointed at them and rushed forward as if he were some sheriff prosecuting the law's greatest offenders. What right did these first remmers have to talk down to me? The taller man, who was looking at a finely crafted metal staff, seemed to awaken from a strange state as he looked over at Ban Tong rushing toward them. Do you first realmers not know your place? Ban Tong yelled out. Do you only fucking yell? The man's expression turned thunderous. His voice snapped through the air. Something primal chilled in the guards and Ban Tong. It was stronger in the guards, who remembered the times that they had started training, and their training staff had snapped out an order. Ban Tong momentarily lost his words. He was only a boy, after all. Being yelled at by an adult when he had been pampered and raised by the Kairos Institute, it was a first for him. First, you prance up the goddamn stairs like you own the fucking place. Then you send your guards after us. Now you're raising a ruckus here? If you continue, I will tan your fucking backside. Your parents might not have taught you manners, boy, but I sure as hell will. The man's voice wasn't a threat. It was an ironclad truth. Even Ban Tong was stunned a bit by the man's yell, how fast he snapped words together, not even leaving time for breathing. Guards from the Blue Lotus moved over. Seeing them, Ban Tong grew in confidence. You first rummers dare to attack me in Kaiju City, let alone in the Blue Lotus? I am Ban Tong, former apprentice to the Kairos Institute Formations Master Yi Chen and apprentice Formations Master Trainee to the Blue Lotus. Ban Tong declared. I ask, what are you doing here in the Blue Lotus other than wasting time and trying to deface this place? If he could get them thrown out of the Blue Lotus, then it would satisfy at least some of the pettiness in his heart, making them look like poor fools as they had ruined his spotlight earlier. I'm selling armor. The larger man pulled out a simple gauntlet from his storage ring. Ban Tong took one glance at the simple-looking gauntlet and sneered. It was only made from iron, and he wished to sell it to the Blue Lotus. Truly, the dumb had courage.